Okay. So, next we are back again. So, next uh, parallel RLC circuit, right. Look, uh, when you are making it, trying to cover each and everything, it will be it will be helpful for you, right. And uh, uh, just uh, just you, I mean, things are very simple. And uh, as it has been taken from the different books, books are uh, given in that your what you call all the list of the books. At is at is and uh, something it is something um, uh, my class notes, right? So something something I have tried uh, something something of my own also uh, for uh, our understanding. So any 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 good book you should follow the books which I have referred there in your uh, this thing uh, your uh, four or five books referred. Uh, just uh, just go, uh, see those books, right? All these books are available, right? In your library also, all these books will be available. So now this is a simple parallel circuit, right? R L C circuit. A voltage source V is given. R L and C, all these things are parallel. So current flowing through this R is I R through L, I L and through I C, right? So uh, so in what we have to do is that is a parallel circuit. So let's see I R, I L, I C and I. This total current is I. I is equal to I R plus I L plus I C, right? KCL if we apply here. So, I R is equal to we are taking this V, V angle 0 degree, this reference voltage is given. So, a parallel circuit, so V angle 0 upon R, so V R uh, angle 0, right? right? This is the I R. I L is equal to V angle 0 upon J X L. This is your whenever, whenever it will be given like this, this is, this is your this thing. So, it is actually you will take J X L, right? X L is equal to L omega. Right, this is your what you call uh, that your um, uh, XL is equal to L omega. So, this is J XL we take. So, we take J XL. Similarly, for the capacitor when we will take actually it is your what you call we will take minus J X C and X C is equal to 1 upon omega C. Right, this way we will take generally 1 upon J omega C will be this thing. If you multiply numerator and denominator it will be J by J square. J square is minus. So, minus omega C is equal to minus J by omega C. Right. So, that is why we write minus J X C and X C is equal to 1 upon omega C. Right. So, that means your this one that will be v, v angle 0 upon J X L is equal to V angle 0 X L 90 degrees. So, V upon X L angle minus we have seen the pure inductive circuit your what you call current lags we have seen it. Similarly, for capacitor we see the current leads the voltage V angle 0 minus J X C. So, it is V angle 0 x is angle minus 90 degree because of j minus j it is minus 90 degree here because of j it is plus 90 degree. So, it will be V upon x c 90 degree. So, I is equal to I r plus I l plus I c right. So, I r is equal to I r angle 0 because uh, your V r uh, this is pure resistive circuit and this is your this is your what you call V upon r angle 0. So, I r is equal to the uh, your I r angle 0 that is I r is equal to V upon r. I L is equal to I L angle minus 90 degree. This I L is nothing but V upon X L. This is the magnitude. Similarly, I C is equal to I C angle 90 degree. I C is nothing but V upon X C, right. So, now if you add the total current I will be I R angle 0 plus I L angle minus 90 degree plus I L angle 90 degree. So, its magnitude will be root over I R square plus I L minus I C whole square and angle is minus tan inverse I L minus I C upon R. This is now understandable to you. Therefore, you can write this is the magnitude of the current I into angle theta and theta is equal to minus tan inverse I L minus I C by R, right. Theta negative that means resultant currents lag the supply voltage if theta is negative and if it is positive resultant currents leads the supply voltage, right. So, in general, in this is the circuit here in general. So, here suppose in general if it is J 1, J 2, J 3. So, it is not pure R, it may be some impedance, some impedance, some J 1, J 2, J 3. So, I 1 will be V upon J 1 parallel circuit it will be Y 1 V, I 2 will be V upon J 2 it will be Y 2 V and I 3 is equal to V upon J 3 it is Y 3 V, right. Therefore, I is equal to I 1 plus I 2 plus I 3, right. So, it will be V upon J 1 plus V upon J 2 plus V upon J 3, right. Therefore, I is equal to Y 1 plus Y 2 plus Y 3 V or I is equal to Y V or y is equal to reciprocal of impedance that is called admittance just now we have seen right. So, admittance are added for parallel branches for branches in series impedance are added and for branches in parallel for uh, right admittance are added right. So, now parallel equivalent next is this is a simple thing right this is a simple example we took. Now, next is that parallel equivalent of a series impedance right 
For example, this is my series impedance R s and x s and this is my supply voltage V. Now, question is that we want this one is equivalent R p and x p these two circuits are equivalent to each other right that means y s is equal to y p that means series admittance is equal to parallel admittance and this branch is R p and x p we have to obtain R p and x p in terms of R s and x s this is an your what you call that parallel equivalent of a series imp impedance right? this is series but we want is parallel equivalent right. So, in this case we know y is equal to 1 upon z. So, 1 upon z means for series it is 1 upon R s plus j x s this we define y s and this is my parallel equivalent is equal to we can write 1 upon R p plus 1 upon j x p because this is inductive. So, 1 upon plus j x s this is we call y p right or this R s plus j x s you multiply numerator and denominator by R s minus j x s you multiply and then you will get it is R s upon R s square plus x square minus j x s upon R s square plus x square is equal to it is 1 upon R p minus j 1 upon x p this one this term you multiply numerator and denominator by j. So, 1 upon R p minus j upon x p that is, is equal to g minus j b say g is equal to conductance is equal to 1 upon R p. So, 1 upon R p is equal to separate real and imaginary part 1 upon R p is equal to R s upon R s square plus x square this one right and similarly your 1 upon x p is equal to x s upon r, r s square plus x square this is 1 upon x p or just can write r p is equal to r s square plus x square upon r s x p is equal to r s square plus x square upon uh, your x s right. So, that means this is that parallel your series series or series impedance r s plus j x s can be represented by two parallel connecting a or what we call impedance one is of course purely resistive r p is equal to this one and x p is equal to this one this is called your parallel this is called your what you call that your series parallel equivalent of a series impedance this is also possible right and we know v by i is equal to say z s for the series circuit it is r s plus j x s therefore v is equal to i r s plus j i x s. So, v is my reference thing and your what you call this is the current i say r it is in, it is inductive circuit. So, i is lagging by an angle theta. So, this this one my i r s and this is my i x s right and this angle is 90 degree not marking again and again by blue ink, but this is 90 degree. So, this is understandable similarly for e parallel equivalent i by v is equal to y p because it is admission that is why i by v and o is equal to 1 upon r p minus j 1 upon x p is equal to g minus j b right. Therefore, my i is equal to you multiply i by v is equal to g minus j b therefore, i is equal to v g minus j v b. So, in that case also v is that uh, reference thing current anyway lagging by theta. So, this is my v g. So, this portion is v g and this is my uh, imaginary part v b. So, this is my v b. So, both admittance and both impedance this phasor diagram when you call i r s plus uh, your uh, this thing j i x s right that is v and when you uh, when you consider your admittance it will be v g minus j v b both have been shown right. So, now series parallel circuit. So, suppose take this example that is one series parallel circuit. So, this circuit actually it is uh, it is your this this point uh, you have to find out this is the current i and this point is a this is b this is c this is d this point is e this is f and this point is g right. So, this is a see this is series part and these two are parallel part. So, everywhere a b c d e f g it is marked right and first thing is these two are parallel 4 plus j 3 and 6 minus j 8 it is in parallel right make their equivalent series first make their equivalent series first with that you add this one right. After that you divide v by z you will get the i right. So, this is my f g. So, this way it has been it has been marked right your i your i e f is equal to i this is i right and your uh, your z your what you call this z f g right this is this is your f point and this is g point. So, you find out that uh, these two are in parallel this 4 plus j 3 and are in parallel you find out the equivalent. So, again and again I will not come to the circuit, but everything is marked. So, this is my this part impedance is z a b this part impedance is z c d right and equivalent is will be z f g when these two parallel will be taken right. Similarly, for 
reciprocal will be your admittance. So, again and again I will not come to the circuit. So, you have to find out I f, I a b, I c d power and power factor. So, y a b is equal to 1, when you will do this you please draw the circuit first right. So, 1 upon j d a b, so 1 upon 6 minus j 8 it comes this much value. Similarly, y c d you do it, it will be 0 0.16 minus j 0 0.12 more right. So, y a b admittance y a b plus y c d is this much is coming. Now, z f g is equal to 1 upon uh, y f g. So, it is coming 4.4 plus j 0 0.8 ohm right. So, z e g now you add z e f plus z f g first what do you do first we compute the admittance of the parallel e, parallel circuit is easy for calculation and then we are now then we are converting it finding out the z f g 1 upon y f g. So, this much we got now z e g the total impedance will be your j d f plus your this much j d f is given in the circuit 1.6 plus j 7.2 and this one you add. So, it is coming 6 plus your j d your what you call 6 plus j 8 ohm therefore, current i should be equal to v upon j d g. So, this is a coming 10 angle minus 53.2 degree ampere. So, power factor is equal to cos theta. So, angle between the voltage and current is 53.2 degree lagging. So, it is 0 0.60 right and p is equal to v i cos theta. So, 100 into 10 cosine 53.2 degree. So, p is equal to 600 watt right. So, next is v f is equal to i into z e f. So, the i is equal to i e f I told you at the beginning. So, it is 6 minus j 8 into 1.6 plus j 7.2. So, this is your 73.8 angle 24.4 degree volt. Similarly, v f g is equal to v minus v f you apply k v l right then you will get v or what you call v f g you apply k v l in the circuit. So, I am not going to the circuit again and again just you draw and look it you have done DC circuit everything only consider instantaneous polarity and solve it. So, it will be 100 angle 0 minus 73 point angle 24.4 degree. So, this is coming actually 44.7 angle minus 42.8 degree volt right. Now, I a b is equal to y a b v f g. So, it is your y a b we got got and v f g now we have we computed here v f g. So, I a b will be this much. 4.48 angle 10.3 degree ampere. Similarly, I C D will be V F G into Y C D. So, it will get 40 44.7 angle this one into your Y C D. It is coming 8.95 angle minus 79.7 degree ampere right. Then P A B power loss is equal to I A B square R A B. So, it is I A B is equal to 4.48 square and R A B is equal to 6. So, it is 120 watt right. So, again and again I have not come to the circuit then it will consume lot of time I will suggest please draw the when you look it the look into this video uh, lecture you please uh, you please draw the circuit first right? and all these calculations other things if you find any error you just let me know that whether uh, let me know so that I can rectify myself even when I am telling many things one or two places because so many things are there so, one or two places uh, I am making small error somewhere, but I have rectified right immediately. So, if you have any doubt you can put all the questions in the forum I will, I will give you the answer right. So, whenever you I tell again and again whenever you look into this video lecture first you draw the circuits then you look what has been done. Uh, so, this is my phasor diagram this is V is the reference one right angle 0 degree and I A B actually leading voltage 10.3 degree. So, that is why it is leading and your I uh, other current that is your this one your uh, V F G that is 44 point the I mean if you come to that V F G come to this it is V your I A B that is your what you call this is leading and if you come to your V F G it is lagging from this reference voltage V. So, minus 42.8 degree that is why this voltage is 42.8 degree it is lagging this all voltage is the same 44.7 degree. Now, if you think in terms of power factor P A B is equal to V A B I A B cos theta V A B 44.7 into 4.48 cosine of this one because cos theta means angle between your this I A B and this your V A B this is V F G is equal to V A B angle between I A B and V A B. So, 42.8 plus 10.3 this is the power factor angle right that is why it is taken 42.8 plus 10.3 degree right. So, it is 120 watt similarly we saw I A B square R A B is equal to 122 watt that means it is matching if it is not that means somewhere calculation if it is not then somewhere calculation has gone wrong somewhere right. So, this is one 
Similarly, your P C D is equal to I C D square R C D, it is 320 watt, right? And P E F I F I F square R E F. So, it is coming your 160 watt. So, total P is equal to P A plus P A B plus P C D, that is 600 watt, right? And power factor your for A B 6 upon root over 6 square plus 8 square, it is 0 0.6 leading. Power factor for C D part, it is 4 upon root over 4 square plus 3 square, 0 0.8 lagging. This one you do it of your own, right? And it is given that draw feather diagram, you please draw the complete feather diagram, I have not drawn for you, right? So, this is your what you call your um, uh, this, this is the way a uh, few examples we have taken, this will solve your purpose, right? So, now another one is this problem your what you call is given to you, L 1 uh, your uh, what you call L 2 uh, uh, your L 1 is given 0 0.106 N D and C 2 is given 37.89 microfarad, C L is uh, your 106 microfarad, L 2 is not there and R 3 is there 30 ohm, R L is 50 ohm, right and this is V L. In this problem you have to find solve for I, I 2, I L, voltage is 120 volt R M S, that means you take the reference 120 angle 0 degree and frequency here it is 60 hertz, you take F is equal to 60 hertz. This problem you will solve as standard circuit KCL, KBL, this is one thing. Second thing you will find out, suppose you will find out I L using Thibrin's theorem, right that you will do using Norton's theorem, you will do this, right and, uh, and also using your what you call and you say you are simply KCL, KBL, you, you should find out all these things and answers are given, uh, answers are given, all these things had been asked what you have to do it and answers are given, right. These are the answer, but per frequency 60 hertz, by mistake do not take 50 hertz, then this answer will not come. So, frequency f is your 60 hertz, right. So, and all this uh, your what you call, all these answers, uh, answers are given. So, all these answers are given. So, with this, right, our single phase AC circuit, uh, at least this part is over, right. So, at least single phase AC circuit is over and we will solve many problems, take any book and you please do it. So, a circuit, now we will go to the resonance circuit, then you will see the maximum power transfer theorem for single phase AC circuit. A circuit is said to be in resonance, right, in resonance when the applied voltage V and the resulting current I are in phase, when V and I both are in phase, a circuit can be said that it is in resonance, right. So, now, in that case what will happen, if circuit is a resonance, when V or I in uh, your what you call in phase, that means that circuit will become a, as if it is an something like an equivalent or a resist, resistive circuit, right. So, so, thus at resonance, the equivalent complex impedance of the circuit consists of only resistance, right. Since, later we will see this, since V and I are in phase, the power factor of a resonance circuit is unity, right. Suppose you have a series RLC circuit R plus J XL minus XC, when XL is equal to XC the resonance condition occur, right. We will come to that, whenever, now this is one general thing, whenever the natural frequency, whenever the natural frequency of oscillation of a system could be electrical, mechanical or a civil structure or a hydraulic, right, coincides with the frequency of the driving force, a voltage source in an electric circuit or a wind force in a civil structure ETC, the two system resonant with respect to each other, right. So, whenever the, if the natural frequency of the oscillation of the system, right, if it coincides with the frequency of the driving force, right, then the two system resonant with respect to each other, resonance is very, it is not good for the system, right. So, in that case, your uh, and the maximum and, uh, and in that case has a maximum response to a fixed magnitude of driving force. So, this phenomena is known as a resonance. Similarly, for the electrical circuit, particularly the series RLC circuit, when it is a resonance condition, the current is maximum, right. We will come to that. Generally, two types of resonance in the electric circuits. One is the series resonance, another is the parallel resonance, right. So, first we will see the series resonance. So, in the case of series is a simple R L C circuit R J L omega minus J upon omega C, right. So, J d is equal to impedance J d is equal to R plus J L omega minus omega C is equal to you can write say R plus J x in this form, right. 
that circuit is in resonance when x is equal to 0. That is when x is equal to 0 means that L omega minus omega 1 upon omega c is equal to 0. That means L omega is equal to 1 upon omega c. That means omega is equal to your 1 upon root over L c is equal to omega 0. This omega 0 you call that your what you call that resonance frequency omega 0. right? So, since omega is equal to 2 pi f, the resonance frequency is given by f 0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over L c, because omega is equal to 2 pi f is equal to this thing. So, it will be f 0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over L c. So, f 0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over L c, this is the resonance frequency. Now, if you plot, suppose this is my impedance, if this is my impedance, if you plot, so x l is equal to l, this is my z plot, this is my z plot. Right. Now, this dash line that you are uh, this line it is x l is equal to l omega because it is a straight line say passing through the origin. Right. Similarly, this side x c is equal to 1 upon omega c. Right. This side is omega and this side is your impedance. This impedance means z, x l, x c everything. Right. So, x c is equal to 1 upon omega c, it looks like a rectangular hyperbola. Right. So, that this dash line is plot. Right. So, this thing from here to here, from here to here, right from here to here this is my x l and from here to here this is an x c and at x l is equal to x c that the frequency is equal to this one omega 0. right? So, this is that simple plot for impedance versus your omega this is omega this is impedance. right? So, this is my this is my x l is equal to L omega plot and this line this x c is equal to this uh, curve x a your what you call x c is equal to 1 upon omega c plot and this dash line is the resistance r right? because at when x l is equal to x c at the time omega is equal to omega 0 at the time z is equal to r because r plus j x l minus x c. So, x l is equal to x c at resonance. So, z is equal to r this is my this dash line is r right. So, so at omega is equal to omega 0 I told you x is equal to x 0. So, the impedance z is equal to x is equal to 0. So, it will be r thus at the resonance the impedance z it is a minimum since i is equal minimum means it is r because x l minus x is 0. So, impedance is minimum r. So, since i is equal to v by z as the z is minimum at resonance the current is maximum right. So, now angle now theta is equal to tan inverse l omega minus 1 1 upon omega c r because z is equal to your r plus j it is x l minus your x c right. So, tan in the tan theta is equal to L omega minus 1 upon omega c upon r therefore, theta is equal to tan inverse L omega minus 1 upon omega c r right. Therefore, for example, suppose when your at frequencies below omega 0 that is when omega less than omega 0 right. So, in that case if omega less than omega 0 let me come to this diagram when omega less than omega 0 this side if you come if omega less than omega 0 that means this region this reason right when omega less than omega 0 the capacitive reactance is more than your inductive side right and the other side capacitance reactance is less but this one will be x l will be more. So, this side if you take omega less than x j omega your what you call less than omega 0 right if this side omega less than omega 0 that means your capacitive induct your reactance x c right is greater than your x l this side and this side your what you call when your omega greater than omega 0 I mean this side right at that time your what you happen that x just opposite x l greater than x c right. So, if you take any value from here you will find x l greater than x c. So, in that that is why in this case that uh, if omega less than omega 0 means that L omega minus omega 1 upon omega c less than 0 that is omega 1 uh, your 1 upon omega c greater than L omega that is x c greater than L omega. So, from this condition we get omega your less than 1 upon it is root over less than root 1 upon root over L c that is your omega less than omega 0. So, all frequencies below omega 0 the capacitive reactance is greater than the inductive reactance right and is neg theta that was theta is negative. So, in that case theta is negative right. So, if the resistance is low, suppose if the resistance is low, the angle changes more rapidly with the frequency as shown in figure below. Suppose this resistance is very small. So, for very small resistance, this, this is your omega 
and this is is theta theta versus omega plot for small res resistance the plot is very sharp look at that and for high resistance this is the plot and this is my omega 0 this side is plus 90 degree this side is minus 90 degree right so as omega tends to 0 theta tends to minus 90 degree if you come to that if omega tends to 0 this term will be tends to 0 but as omega tends to 0 this term will tends to minus infinity right so in this case theta will tends to minus 90 degree similarly when omega is much much higher than omega 0 that means if this omega is very large this one upon omega c term is uh, what you call it is negligible uh, it will it will be very small but theta tends to your what you call that plus 90 degree right so this is uh, based on that this this uh, this uh, uh, your diagram has been drawn right so now we know that y is equal to 1 upon z right that is my i is equal to y v right so because we know admittance earlier we have seen so if you plot admittance versus omega right so if your what you call if your high, this is this is omega 0 this plot is for the higher value of r and this plot plot is for the lower value of r finally this dashed line where r is very low it is tending to your what you call to infinity right to tending to infinity so now this is your omega admittance versus omega plot other all we shown that the impedance versus omega plot this is admittance versus and this is your omega 0 right so if high r means admittance is low low r means admittance is high this is the plot and if r your r is very low it tends to infinity right so the above plot is also an indication of the current versus omega plot now maximum current occurs at omega 0 because that is at resonance frequency right a low resistance results in a higher current so that dotted curve shown in the your limiting case that r tends to 0 that means this one when r tends to 0 this is that dot dashed line right or dotted line so now parallel next is the parallel resonance that is pure rlc circuit so in this case this is my r this is my jxl and this is my minus jxc it is capacity now here this r we can read it is a conductance these two can be represented as minus jbl my jbc that is your susceptance right so it is it is in susceptance so it will become minus jbl here g is equal to 1 upon r bl is equal to 1 upon xl and bc is equal to 1 upon xc i mean if you take i mean if you take your what you call the reciprocal of this one 1 upon j xl numerator and denominator you multiply by j so j upon j square xl j square is minus 1 so that is minus j upon xl we take bl is equal to 1 upon xl that is why it is minus j bl right so let me clear it so that is why here we are writing minus j bl similarly capacitor will become j b c it is plus right so b c is equal to 1 upon x c so g is equal to 1 upon l here for you i have done it 1 upon j x l is equal to minus j x l is equal to minus j b l and similarly 1 upon minus j x c is equal to j upon x c numerator and denominator you multiply by j that is all it is j b c so admittance y is equal to g plus j b c minus b l right is equal to g plus j 1 upon x c minus 1 upon x l right so that means y is equal to g plus j omega c minus 1 upon l omega so the in this case we write y is equal to g plus j b so where b is equal to b c minus b l right this is my b c and this is my b l just opposite like your series one but we have made it like this considering admitted so this is my bc and this is my bl right so this is my bc and this is my bl b is equal to now circuit is in resonance when b is equal to 0 when this part will be 0 the circuit will be in resonance right therefore omega c is equal to 1 upon l omega therefore omega is equal to 1 upon root over your lc that is, is equal to omega 0 same as before same as series circuit right as in the series RLC circuit resonance frequency is F0 is equal to 1 upon 2 pi root over LC hard. So, if you plot now admittance versus omega same as your what you call the way we do impedance versus omega for series RLC circuit for parallel we are plotting admittance versus omega. So, in this case your this is my your constant this is my constant G line because BC is equal to BL right and this is omega and this is my bc is equal to omega this is dash line and this is your bl is equal to omega it is a rectangular hyperbola 1 upon l omega and this is my 
we are what you call omega 0 the resonance frequency. So, at this point your B c is equal to B l right and from the this side you can make out when omega less than omega 0 this side that B l will be greater than B c right. When you will come to this side when omega greater than omega 0 right this side if you come to this side it will be your B c your greater than B l right just opposite. So, at omega is equal to omega 0 B c is equal to B l y is equal to g right. So, at resonance admittance is minimum right. So, at resonance at the parallel circuit at resonance admittance is your what you call minimum. So, in this case and since i is equal to y v, so y is that admittance the current has also minimum value for the parallel circuit right. So, now if you plot now just opposite for parallel circuit impedance by omega. So, this is at omega 0. So, this is at low r and this is at higher r just uh, just uh, just you know it is something like your what you call that your complement to each other series and parallel right. Now, angle of admittance is given by theta your what you call this is theta y suffix is y capital Y is equal to tan inverse B c minus B l upon g right. Therefore, tan inverse omega c minus l 1 upon l omega by g. Now, if you plot this one this is same as before this is angle of impedance plus 90 degree this is minus 90 degree right. So, this is very high value of r this is the plot and for low r this is the plot and this is my omega 0. The way we explain the previous one series one it is same, but in this case it is ampere uh, your what we call it is that was your it is angle of impedance right. So, if you plot like this it will be an omega c minus 1 upon l omega less than 0. So, omega less than 0 your omega less than 0 and this is your what you call plot. Now, if you see omega less than equal to omega less than omega 0 that is my B l greater than B c. So, theta y is negative right. So, if you come to this here your this thing uh, your uh, this this one right it is g plus j omega c minus l omega this is my B c minus B l right. So, from this condition I see that if uh, your what you call if B c my your minus your B c greater than uh, B l or less than B l accordingly negative and positive angle will come right. So, same thing is explained here that your what you call when omega less than omega 0 and B l greater than B c theta y will be negative right and if angle of impedance that means, theta is positive because if it is this is theta y is angle of admittance if angle of admittance become negative then angle of impedance theta will become positive right. Similarly, if omega tends to 0 the theta y that angle of admittance becoming minus 90 degree and therefore, the angle of impedance theta will be plus 90 degree right. So, when B l greater than B c that angle of admittance is negative that means, angle of admittance theta is positive because this is theta y. Similarly, at when omega tends to 0 right angle of admittance is minus 90 degree that means, angle of impedance is plus 90 degree right. So, that means, at omega greater than omega 0 B c greater than B l that means, theta y that is positive right and angle of impedance theta will be negative this is just put in that your what you call in that expression very simple thing it is and when omega is much much greater than omega 0 at that time you will see theta y is plus 90 degree that is the angle of impedance will be minus 90 degree when omega greater when omega greater than much much greater than your omega 0 that means, if you come to this that means, if you come to this that when omega is much much greater than omega 0 much much greater than omega 0 right then this part is negligible compared to this part right. That means, in that case angle of admittance is your positive right. So, in that case angle of admittance is your what you call that the positive now that is 90 degree and that was theta is equal to minus 90 degree right. So, with this thank you very much we will be back again.